From the NBC26 Precision Forecast Center, meteorologist Michael Fish. Thanks a lot for joining us tonight, and boy, that heat is here. You know it is summer. The dog days are back, and here, summer's almost over. We have actually a small stretch of this heat and humidity that's going to be here through Tuesday. So get ready for more 90s, and tomorrow we're probably going to see even more humidity. It's going to be a warm night as well. Could be a noisy night, too, for some folks. We'll get to that in a little bit. 77 should be our average high way above that today. Close to 90 degrees in a lot of locations. And look at tomorrow. More 80s, 90s. Lots of 90s on that map, actually. And we're seeing them outside right now, except for Green Bay. Close enough, 89 degrees. 96, that's what the temperature is in Wapaka. 93 in Shawano. Now let's factor in the humidity. What does it feel like on your skin? It feels like 98 Shawano and Wapaka, 95 in Oshkosh. Doesn't matter if you have a strong southwesterly breeze, it still feels this hot. 97 in Sturgeon Bay. We just haven't seen that much heat this summer, and now we're finally seeing it, and summer's almost done. Uh, dew points, they're also on the rise. They weren't too bad. We were seeing some of this mixing going on before that kept the humidity in check a little bit, but now look at the dew points getting higher and higher. That's going to be the story tonight, tomorrow, and even into Tuesday. Now remember, heat, humidity, and now a front. That's all right here. That front is kind of hanging out just to our north. I'm going to be watching development out to our west. That's going to be rolling on in as the night goes on with more showers and storms. Don't be surprised, especially if you live in the Fox Valley late tonight, if you are woken up by some showers and storms. And these showers and storms might have to keep an eye on them. Storm Prediction Center has us under a slight risk of uh, severe weather. What that means is if you see a shower or storm, there's a slight risk. You could see some gusty wind, some hail, and of course, downpours out there. So be aware of that. Now, as far as Monday is concerned, we could start off with a shower or storm, then a break, and then we could refire things. But still, it is going to be another hot one out there with humidity as well. So get ready. It's going to feel like summer. So there's that front. There's that complex of storms probably going to move in here for a lot of us as we had later on tonight. Some of us could see that during the evening hours as well, but our better chance through the late night hours, possibly into daybreak. Then there probably will be a break and then more redevelopment because we just have these fronts just kind of hanging around here. And then late Monday night going into Tuesday again, more showers and thunderstorms around here. You know, remember, we have, of course, the heat and humidity. Those are the ingredients with shear and a trigger to give us showers and storms. So scattered thunderstorms developing probably later on tonight. For a lot of us, it starts a little bit earlier off to the north. For Monday, hot and humid again. Chance storms in the morning, probably a break, and then we'll probably fire up more of these. 90 degrees for our high with humidity. Uh, Monday night, scattered thunderstorms redevelop, and then as we head through Tuesday, a chance of storms, hot and humid, 90 degrees again. It's going to be a pretty warm stretch. And you know what? We cool things down on Wednesday, but Cassandra, that's not getting that much cooler. That's still well above average. This whole week feeling like summer, the hottest of the days, the next couple, a little bit of a break, and then look at next Sunday, 88 again. So it's going to be a warm week. Some folks starting school, oh, that's not a good way to start.